Holly refinanced her home. The new loan of $101,000 has an interest rate of 5.6% compounded monthly, which means she is making monthly payments. She is planning to pay off the loan in 20 years. What will her monthly payment be? Okay, so anytime we're given a loan amount and we want to find a monthly payment, we're going to click on this link that says Payment Given Loan Amount Calculator. Okay, so let's let's uh, put in our variables. So Holly's uh, loan amount is 101,000. Her interest rate is 5.6%. Uh, and remember that for interest rates, we have to put this in decimal form. So in decimal form, we have 0 0.056. And she is refinancing her home for 20 years. So her monthly payment will be $700.48. Okay, so let's write down all the inputs. Um, in this case, the principal amount is 101000 that's how much money that she needs to borrow to refinance her home. She gets this at an interest rate of 5.6%, which is 0 0.056 in decimal form, and the term of the loan is 20 years. Okay, so we put this in that calculator. Uh, you want to calculate payment given loan amount, and that comes out to be $700.48. for the first part. Second part, assuming Holly paid all of the payments on time and did not prepay the loan, what is the total amount Holly paid and what is the total interest? So, so for, to get, get the total amount that Holly paid, she makes a payment of $700.48 per month. There are 12 months in a year, so each year she makes 12 payments and she does this for 20 years. So if we put this in a calculator, we'll get this. We'll get the total amount. We have 748 um, times 12 times 20. So let's go ahead and put this in. Okay, we have $700.48. We make 12 payments for 20 years, and the amount that she pays is 168.115.2. So with interest, she makes total payments over 20 years of $168,115.20. Now to get the total interest, we're going to take the amount she actually paid, which is 168,115.20, and subtract the actual loan that she needed, which is 101,000. Okay, so this gives us 20, this is 5, this is 1, this is 1, this is 7, this is 6. So her total interest paid is the actual amount she paid minus her loan amount. That leaves the interest that she paid, which was A young executive is going to purchase a vacation property for investment purposes. She needs to borrow $114,000 for 25 years at 5.3% compounded monthly, which means she's making monthly payments. The question is, what is the unpaid balance after 15 months? Okay, so we're going to split this problem up into two different parts. In the first part, Sorry about that. Um, in the first part, we need to figure out if she's making monthly payments, what are her monthly payments? How much money is she paying each month? So for that, we have a payment amount, or we have a payment, um, we have a loan of 114,000. So we want to find the payment given the loan amount. Okay, so we want to find the payment given loan amount. So we're going to use that first calculator, payment given loan amount. So she is borrowing. $114,000 at an interest rate of 5.3%, which is 0 0.053 in decimal form. Remember to multiply any percent, remember to divide any percent by 100 in order to get the, um, get, the get the interest rate in decimal form. And she 
it's going to pay this off in 25 years, so that's the term of the loan. Now, given these variables, let's go through and find out what is her monthly payment. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put these variables in. So I have 140. Uh, so first, I'm gonna click on the payment given loan amount calculator. So this helps me find the payment given the loan amount. Okay, so the loan amount here I can see is 114,000. My interest rate is 5.3%, which is 0 0.053 in decimal form. And the term is a 25 year loan. So her monthly payment is 686.509, which is 686.51. Okay, so our monthly payment is going to be 686.51. That's how much she's paying each month. Now, that's not the answer. The, the, the question says, what is the unpaid balance after 15 months? So now we go to part two. In part two, we know how much she's paying per month. So her monthly payment is given to us as 686.51. We know the interest rate, which is point. 053. Now T, this is the number of years still to pay. We want to find the unpaid balance. So we've got to figure out if she's been making payments for 15 months, how many more years does she still need to pay off? Okay, so we know that she has a 25 year loan. Okay, so the, the total loan is going to be a 25 year loan. So she has to make payments every month for 25 years. She's made payments for 15 months, but this is in years. So months, 15 months in years is going to be 15 out of 12 years. Remember to convert months into years. So we just divide by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So now we have a problem. We, this is like 25 over one minus 15 over 12. We need to get a common denominator. Because when we add or subtract fractions, that's what we need. We need a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by 12, which means I'm going to multiply the numerator also by 12. All right, I multiply both the numerator and denominator by 12. Now, why do I do this? I'm doing this in order to, I'm doing this in order to make the denominators the same so we can actually add and subtract. So let's multiply 25 by 12. That's 300 over 12. So 300 over 12 is the same thing as 25 over one. But I'm doing this so I can get that common denominator. I got 300 over 12 minus 15 over 12. This gives me 285 over 12. And this is in the number of years. So what we're actually doing is we're saying that the loan needs to be paid for 25 years. The loan has been paid for 15 months, which in years is going to be 15 over 12 years. We converted that into a denominator of 12 by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 12. That's 300 over 12 minus 15 over 12, which is 285 over 12. That's how many years she still has to pay. So T is going to be 285 over 12. Now let's go through and input this into our second calculator, which is to calculate the loan amount given our monthly payment. All right, so I'm gonna click on this. Uh, my monthly payment is 686.51. My interest rate is 0.053. Now, N is the number of years that we still need to pay because that's what we're trying to figure out. We wanna find the unpaid balance. So the number of years is going to be 285 over 12. Okay, and then that tells us that the balance is going to be 111168.45. 111168.45. That's how much money that she still owes if she's only made 15 payments.